Hello everyone and welcome to Spirit Fairer. My name is Melanie V. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so what are we up to today? Let's check out our request. I think I can finally make the fried chicken now because I've got sunflower oil. But I still need to build a Buck's Lair of Wonders. Talk to Bruce and Mickey. Talk to a tool. And okay, so there's a couple of things that I can do right away. So that's good. But there is some uh, crops we can harvest here. Some turnips. We'll get those. And what should I plant in place of these turnips? Um, let's put some lettuce in here. Okay, we'll get these watered. I wish when it rains it can like water your crops. Or maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> That would be cool if it did. Okay, so fried chicken. So I need chicken, I assume. And there's some chicken. And some oil. Do I need to match the amount of oil that I do for the amount of chicken? I'll just do one. Okay, where is Uncle Atul? He can't still be asleep. Uncle Atul, where are you? That's not his house, is it? No, this is just the... the guest room. There's Scar. Giovanni, what can I get you today? Let's make Giovanni some poached fruit. You're welcome. And Uncle Atul. Why can't I find Uncle Atul? Where's his house? Where did I move it to? This is not Uncle Atul's house. Oh, what are we doing here? Are you already done? Ah, uh, yes. Maybe I'm already done. I thought I planted the... I thought I planted those rocks a long time ago. Maybe I didn't. Oh, now she's going away though. I did plant them a while ago. Maybe I decided to go back and collect them. My goodness. Okay. Seriously, where is Uncle Atul's house? <laughs> this is the boundary. There he is. He's asleep. Okay, it is nighttime. Okay, we'll harvest our tea crops. In the meantime. And I'll plant something before going to bed. Let's plant some sugar cane so we can make more sugar. I don't even know what I can make with the sugar. There must be a recipe for that needs sugar, but I don't know what it is. Okay, we'll get these watered and we can head to bed.
Okay, got some sleep. Where should we head to next? Do we need anything in Oxbury? No. Ambertown Park, nothing missing from there. Edinburgh Lane. Uh, there's a rare chest we can still find, but I obviously missed it. So I wouldn't even know where to look. Sun Spring Square. And the Flotsam Shores. I think I probably should head to Albert's because I do need to get an upgrade. Crows and ink. I don't think I can get past this area here. Don't need to go there. Mount Toriyama. Already got the spirit from here, but there's still one more rare chest to be found. Uh, Calstead Mines. I don't need to go here. Masha, no. No. Villa Magior. There's one chest I can find still, but I have looked for that one and I had no luck with it. Nordwilder. There is a sheep and two rare chests. Uh, I don't really want to go there. Oh, in Lomberg, there's a blueprint to be found. And I can get glass here. Yeah, let's go there. Okay, let's go talk to Uncle Atuo. Okay, Uncle Atuo, are you awake now? Yes, he is. Way to go, Sprout. This all looks amazing. You got it all. My house has never looked better. I'm sure the other passengers are already jealous, but let's not rub, rub their noses in it. Or their face in it, I guess. Well, I'm glad you like it. So we got one more quest completed. So we just need to make the fried chicken now. Is that ready? Yes! Got some fried chicken, finally! And we are at an event. Which event is it? Uh, it's like a okay I'm not gonna do this even though it's one of the fun events that I do enjoy I'm gonna skip it uncle uncle Atu, guess what I have wait come back uncle Atu, will settle down <laughs> Okay, let's give him some chicken. There we go. This always made me think of my dad. He loved preparing food. He was an absolute genius in the kitchen. His meals would always turn out perfectly. But while he was making them, he was angry. You couldn't take his focus away from making food. It was like he was trying to tame the kitchen or something. It was a fight to the death. What? He would always win. A meal could take him hours to prepare just right. It took him so long. I remember being a kid and when it was ready, I didn't care what food it was in front of me. I could have been cereal for all I cared. I just hated watching him make food back then. Waiting for hours for a meal I didn't care about. But every time I eat this, 
It doesn't seem that bad anymore. That is so odd. I wonder why he was so angry whilst he was making food. So we got another request completed. So I still need to talk to Bruce and Mickey. Let's see what they have to say about their new house. Where is their new house? Hey, they are. This is what I'm talking about. You don't mess around. We need to give you a proper nickname. Mickey, what do you think? Right. I don't like that. <laughs> That's already taken. Phantom Terror. That's no good. Give him a minute, okay? So what is my new nickname? <laughs> so we got another quest completed. So we still need to build Beverly's farmhouse. And the smithy. And improve Gustav's gallery. Okay, let's go see what we can still make. Looks like some people have some requests for me, though. Ah, Uncle Atul. I think we should organize a big dinner for everyone aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone. Just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. You should invite everyone and ask them what they want for dinner. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. What do you think? Okay. And what does Giovanni want? Look, Peanut, I think I've overstayed my welcome on this ship. I know, I know, I've only just joined you guys recently, but I don't exactly have any say in this, you know? I wish I had. Don't worry, I had a jolly good time. No regrets. I did love that lounge. A bit too much, maybe. I think you might need a restock. Okay, let's go. You know the way, Bambina. What? Does he want to go? Oh, Giovanni. Even though I'm kind of mad at him still, I don't want to take him to the upper door. Oh, man. Everybody's leaving. I guess everybody has to leave. Okay, let's turn the ship around. It's time for Giovanni to go to the other door. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest these fruit trees. Okay. Oh, what's Buck doing? Buck is such an odd one. That sounds like fun. I'll take a casserole. Oh, I guess I've invited Buck. I wasn't intending to do that, but okay. I want to invite uh, Astrid for sure. Astrid, there you are. Come back. Don't walk away. Don't walk away. A two wants me at the dinner? Hmm, sure. I guess I should be there. I don't know. I'm not sure if I... She wants some noodle soup? Okay. I got the recipe for it now. And it looks like we're in a storm. I'm gonna have to say no, Uncle Atul. And who else can we invite? I guess we'll invite Gustav. Hey, Gustav. Hmm, that over-energized friend of yours is organizing a dinner. Good thing you are taking care of the food, my dear. Let's see, something that takes skill. Tuna tataki, 
That sounds decent. Oh, I got a new recipe. I don't know if I have any tuna, though. I should see what I can actually make. Let's check out the recipes. Where is the new recipes? I don't see my tuna tataki recipe. Isn't it a new recipe? Shouldn't it be highlighted? That would be helpful if it was. Tuna tataki, where are you? Well, I don't know how to make a tuna tataki. So I'll need a casserole. Does it list it in here? No, how am I supposed to see what they all wanted? <laughs> okay, I think we're getting close to the upper door. The waters are red. Oops. I guess I'm hugging Daffodil. Now here comes the hard part. I need a sous chef. Someone to help me prepare all the meals. A good chef always has a good team behind them. Believe you me, Stella. We make a great team. I'll just write down what everyone wanted. You just need to prepare it all. The heavy lifting, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay, so do I need to go talk to Giovanni now? Is he gonna say goodbye to Astrid? Here we are, Bambina. You know, I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Ready to bring me there? Yes. I think this is the best decision. Okay, let's go. Okay, they're all gonna say goodbye. Oh, I, are we leaving without Giovanni? There he is. You know what, Peanut? The second I saw you, I knew you were someone special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there and do the right thing. I could see that in people. See the cracks in them? It's easy. Light shines through. I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. And why did you do so many things to hurt her? Ha, Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine. But she had such an intense life inside shining through. Warmth and fire too. Her laugh made mountains tremble. And everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. I was, I always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun making jokes and being the funny guy but they only came for her really her majestic raw radiant soul but you bambina you've got that look in your eyes that soft killer vibe i saw so much of me in you your bravery your sense of humor your gusto I know it's hard doing what you do. Accompanying people to what's their end takes more guts to do something like that. It takes a soul of steel. But hey, good news. 
You've got it. You've got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt it, even if you don't have faith in yourself, I have so much faith in you, so much faith in your strength. I believe in you, Pina. Aw, thanks, Giovanni. Now and forever. And hey, if you need anything, I won't be far. I'll be right there, standing right beside you. I'll always be there. Always. Aw. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could have stayed longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid when I'm gone, okay? And don't miss me too much, will you? I've never deserved you anyway. But I've loved you and that won't stop even if I'm not around anymore. The ones who really love you never really leave you, you know? Life is amazing, isn't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. I've tried so much to live to the fullest. I regret nothing. Nothing but leaving Astrid. Nothing but leaving you, Stella. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more, but we, but here we are. All right, pour yourself one for me, will you? Ciao, Bella. Oh, goodbye, Giovanni. I'm so sad. I didn't think I'd be sad for Giovanni leaving. Oh, he looks so majestic. And Giovanni has transcended. I guess his consolation is a lion. That is fitting, I suppose. Because he is a lion. Oh. How can we get to do this for Giovanni? Was I like a like friends with him before because I only got to do this with Gwen what is that memory good oh no I don't like doing jumping Am I going the right way? Probably not. Who's this? Who's that? Oh, where did he go? Okay, where am I supposed to be going here? Daffodil, once again, I'm lost.
Where did those butterflies go to? Okay, maybe I should be going over to this memory, but Okay, I'm here, but nothing's happening. Oh, there they are. Here's the next memory. Who is that? I'm not sure who that is. So it has to be me and Giovanni. Okay, let's go up this way. And ah, there's some more butterflies. So that second one was like a hospital bed. Hmm. Ah, don't let me fall all the way back down. Where am I supposed to be going to next? Maybe up here. How am I supposed to get up there? It was, I wish there wasn't like a jumping portion when you're in the upper door. It is so frustrating jumping. I don't think I can actually jump into that thing, but how do I get up there then? Yeah, this is going to take me all the way back down. My goodness. Okay, let's go all the way back up. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. This is very confusing. Okay, I can go up here. Oh, don't let me fall back down again. Ah! Okay, some more of the butterflies. Okay, so it's the big owl thing again. 
And so you return, spirit bearer, humbled by your confusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again, you call me by my name. Whisper echoes of my essence to these too afraid to hear it. Who is this guy? As you stand before me, hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. And now you truly see me. See what I afflict upon those you love. All these paths you've crossed, these souls you've embraced, their lives intertwined with yours, their faces etched upon your memory. You've opened your heart to the suffering of others, and in return their spark warms your heart and shapes your fate. Every spirit a reminder, every spirit a goodbye. What do they teach you? Their struggles, your drama? Their memories, your memories. Are they saying their farewells or are you saying yours? I am confused about that, to be honest. But you are not here. You are not ready yet, Stella. And these souls still need you. Carry on your task, spirit bearer. Soon your time will come. And we will meet again for the last time. I don't even know what that means. Okay, we're back on the boat and we've said goodbye to Giovanni. Well, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.